Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to download and install SPX. Let's go to the website spx.graphics download. SPX is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, but today we're gonna do the Mac installation. Download zip. We recommend you to create a subfolder on the root drive to extract the zip SPX file. You can see the three folders in here. In the README file, you can see the in-depth introduction about SPX. Otherwise, you can open the SPX for Mac OS. For the first time, the computer might ask you to open it. SPX run as the terminal application. In here, you can copy the URL and paste it on the Chrome browser. For the first time, you can save username and password or you just put no and save. Here is the UI of SPX Open Projects. The content of SPX is managed in projects and rundowns. Here we have Hello World project and my first rundown ready for you. Open rundown. There are multiple items in this rundown. You can just put play or hit spacebar. Similarly, put stop or spacebar to stop the animation. To explore more, let's create a new project. Put OK. In here, you can add the template by put the plus sign, color bumper, select, go back to project. We will add a new rundown. Put OK. So it will open an empty rundown. You can put the plus sign to add more templates to it. Double click on the item to edit the template. Have fun with SPX. While you're in here, you can explore aspects resources. Let's go to Knowledge Base. Go. It will bring you to our Knowledge Base. Let's try to search Mac installation. There are multiple articles that show you how to install. One of the problems Mac users usually face is the file is not executable. Let's copy this line. Go to Terminal. Make sure that you direct it to the folder the aspect is installed. Type sudo cmode for change mode plus x and the name of the file that you want to make executable. The computer will ask you for the password, so just type it and enter. Then you can go back and double click on the file. Or some computer, depends on the setting, might ask you to do differently. So you can totally go to the terminal and open the file from here. For more information, you can go back to the knowledge base. In here, we show you in details how to install and troubleshoot. If you have any question or if you want to share your knowledge on how to fix this issue, feel free to chat with us. No bots in here. We are just real human to answer you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.